All right, guys, I suppose it's time I uh, sat and talked about the uh, experience of the Nokia Lumia then, the, uh, the 1020, which of course is the one with that big beast of a camera on it. And there isn't a lot more to say about it other than that big beast of a camera. I mean, you know, the, the OS is exactly the same across the board and it, other than the camera, it's got no added real sort of features over any of the other ones you know um there's it's, it's literally all about the camera i think uh, with this particular phone you know all, all your apps are the same there's no there's no difference there um i don't know whether it's something to do with some of the processors built in but it, it would appear to me like the camera seems to slow the phone down entirely now, it could just be that this one's suffering a bit, you know, from sort of, you know, I mean, obviously it's been handed around, uh, but, you know, it has been handed around quite a lot. Uh, and uh, I know it's, you know, taken a bit of a, because it's actually got, I don't know if you can, hang on. So if I can, it's not going to do it now. Let me turn it off. No, I don't know if you can hear that little noise next to the microphone and what that actually is it's just got a slightly loose patch just there on the uh, the screen so I hope that's not like a, a major sort of like um, build quality thing that goes with the Nokia's because other than that they're actually nice phones I mean uh, you know it's got a, it's got this lovely rounded edge you know that that is that is nice I do like that it's very comfortable in the hand the camera Obviously, some are going to say it's ugly. Personally, I don't think it's that bad. Um, but yes, it does stick out. Um, but that camera is a, you know, it really is a beast. You know, I mean, I just... Now, I think some of what draw, draws a lot of power actually on this thing, because uh, believe me, this one doesn't have slug the power in comparison to the other ones. Um, this one... If I if I use this the same as my iPhone 5, it will last as long as my iPhone 5, and mine actually has been suffering from that. Mine, mine actually fits the criteria for a battery swap, and I just checked with my local dealer today. Actually, it was not actually an Apple shop, but they are a registered dealer and repairer, and then they don't do the iOS devices, so I have got to do the drive to either Leeds or Sheffield. So that's going to be wonderful. But anyway, back to the windows here. Um, you know, I mean, I think the OS is fine. You know, a lot of people complain about it, and I actually think it's pretty much fine. Um, it's great. Games work on it nicely. Um, I've been playing uh, Despicable Me on this one, actually. It's, uh, it's a really good game on here. The only thing is, now I don't know whether this is across all the platforms. I've not tried it on iOS or anything, this particular game. It, um, it can, the screen, or the touch sensitive part of it can misinterpret whether I'm doing an upward swipe or a cross swipe and you know that, that'll fail me the game and it's not just because of my bad gaming <laughs> although you know but um, anyway I mean but let's say uh, anyway I mean let's take a sort of closer look at that camera because that camera really is like the main thing about this now you know you, obviously you've got two got two camera apps there come on focus there we go you got the smart cam and you got the Nokia cam now the Nokia cam is the one that gives you access, a lot more access to the settings and things like that the smart cam is the one that can take all like the um, it can take like uh, a multiple of five shots and then you can go through the shots afterwards pick the best one and each of those will have some more alterations that you can make to the finished photographs so you'll have one that's built for doing action and it'll pick the best one that's had like uh, some action or movement in the photograph and then you get the chance then to sort of enhance that image I suppose for want of a better way of putting it and obviously with these cameras you can uh, remove something from the shot to so say a person had walked into shot you can remove that things like that which all fantastic features uh, but anyway, let's open the, the camera app and now obviously, you know, this size camera is going to really sort of 
hammer that uh, that thing but if you just watch that lens now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to capture this on here I hope I can you can see that the lens is open and you can hear it sometimes it has a mechanical it has got a mechanical um, shutter on it but if I just take a picture now come on there and you see that that shutter actually closed for a few seconds and then opened again so that and that is mechanically moving you can actually physically hear it as well when you start the camera you'll hear that, a little click it's you know and I, I would say that mechanical movement is probably enough to actually um, to actually help drain the battery because um, it really does hammer the battery which is a shame because I had the 1520 before which of course had that much much bigger screen and that sort of I could get a day and a half out of that easily you know and that, that was sort of giving it some you know um, my iPhone at the minute is only doing half a day and uh, like I say so is this if I really give it some so I mean you know I think there's uh, I think that the niche position for this phone really is for somebody who really is into their phonography uh, for want of a better way of putting it somebody who really wants to be able to just use that device in their pocket to go and take snaps around and about or even it would be even ideal maybe for a, a photographer who wanted to do like a, a quick recce of somewhere first you know go around without having to carry that big bulky DSLR and all the lens kit and stuff like that so you could be able to have a good look around try a few shots things like that um, but other than that it's no different from any other Nokia device really um, you know other than the obvious sort of size differences and things like that so with that in mind I would I would say you know if, you, if you're really into your photographs then this one is definitely worth looking at if you're out looking for a new mobile phone you know you don't necessarily want the, the latest and greatest you may be interested in getting something like this so that is pretty much my thoughts on it guys you know it's it's a camera with a phone attached and uh, that's you know that's it so that's pretty much all I've got to say on the matter guys so that in mind I'll see you all in the next video guys okay so take care and I'll see you later